what is up so I just kind of wanted to come on here and chat for a bit um I've just been hanging out it is 10:33 at night and it's a thunderstorm my one dog Maddie the Shih Tzu freaked out I went to go brush my teeth and I came back upstairs I was checking in on my mom and um, her dog Toby was hanging out with me and then he wanted to leave the room so I went to bring him back to her so Maddie got out and she decided to just full-fledged run down the stairs so she's coping <laughs> downstairs by herself I feel bad like she should hang out with me but she didn't want to and I mean whatever is gonna help keep her more peaceful I just let her do that um, plus not for nothing she completely interrupts my sleep all night when there is a thunderstorm and this week alone that's happened like twice so one night I was up with her till one in the morning until I decided let me just put her downstairs because for some reason she gets a little bit calmer on the couch and like she's able to kind of deal better so I don't know like I just kind of have to let her go do her thing <laughs> but anyways I've mentioned before that I joined Weight Watchers, so I just kind of want to update you guys with that. I do my weigh-ins every Monday, but I've been a little scale obsessed this week where I've kind of just been keep going on the scale every morning. Like, I get up, I pee, and I go weigh myself, and it's stupid. Like, I, I'm going to stop for the next few days and just wait till Monday. Um, it's just, I think I'm in disbelief because it's been so long since I've been losing weight like so go back a couple of years when I started Weight Watchers for the first time this is my second go at it so the first time I was at that point that was my heaviest weight ever um when I had joined um I'll be transparent oh god it's so scary to tell you numbers okay when I first joined Weight Watchers I was 208 pounds I'm only five foot four so that puts me in like a BMI category of being obese which is horrible um, because you don't feel good and like just all these bad things are capable at that time so I had just moved back to New York at the time and my mother was on Weight Watchers for a little couple of weeks and I decided what the hell I think I'm gonna join her too because I was trying to lose weight I had lost I think 20 pounds a couple like within that past year and I ended up gaining it back so I don't even know like <laughs> it's just a big mess so anyways um I decided to join and I got like one of those deals where if you lose 10 pounds within the first like two months you get like three months free something really cool like that and I ended up like just by following the program not even working out or anything I lost the weight real quickly um, so within the two months, I think it was like the first six weeks, something like that, I lost the 10 pounds. So I got a couple of months free, which was really cool. And then, um, what else? So I ended up losing about 33 pounds. I was at my lowest weight as an adult ever that I could recall, which was 174, 176-ish. Um, and I looked amazing. I'll even insert a photo. Like, I was wearing dresses, looking good in them, not having to wear spanks. I had... You know, my face was thinner, my arms were thinner, my stomach was lighter, um, my thighs were, you know, the one thing that wasn't terrible, but like I wanted them to be smaller. And over time, I'm sure, oh my god, it's a lightning storm right now, sorry. Um, it's like spooky, but I love it. I love the cool breeze I'm getting. Did I say that? I'm gonna have to call this like lightning late at night chit chat or something so anyways I had looked really good at that time I was really confident I was exercising just by walking all I would do is walk 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 everywhere I would get 20,000 steps in a day some days I'd get like 25 or whatever it was like I I was pushing really good my friend and I we would walk along the highway which was also like kind of like a park thing there was like water um, if you guys in New York it's the Cross Island Parkway we would walk along there that's when I lived in New York 
So we'd walk there and it's an eight mile round trip thing. So like you walk from one end, go all the way and then come back. And I remember when we first started, we would only get like halfway through and then come back or a third of the way through and come back to the point where it was just so easy. We would do the whole thing, go back and then we'd be like, should we do it again? Like it was a great feeling, but that's not where I am now. <laughs> um, since coming back to Pennsylvania, um, I got my license and I ended up, you know, getting off the program for a while and I was staying like, I had gone up to like the 180 range and I was fluctuating between 180, 184, like back and forth. And every time I would try and get back down to like 179 just to break out of the 180s, I would shoot right back up. So I would never be able to do it like on my own. Um, I just wasn't getting there. And then... As time went on I started to just keep gaining the weight and I would say within two years not only did I put back on everything from Weight Watchers that brought me up to 208 I went surpassed that point and there's just literally going back and forth under the curtain um it's bedtime you know <laughs> and I ended up my highest weight now that I've gone back to Wave Watchers was 216 pounds, 0.6 ounces. So I have not been feeling good in my body for a while and that's what made me decide to join back. I had tried doing a vegan diet, um, more plant-based diet I guess you can say because it's not like I was using vegan products although I am more mindful about the makeups that I purchase. I do buy cruelty-free makeup and things like that. So. You know that's a separate that's more of a social personal choice issue um but as far as my diet what i was putting into my body i was looking more towards plant-based so i'm like okay less fat and things there's less calories like blah 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 but like i don't think i was doing it for the right reasons and i wasn't losing any weight and i wasn't really feeling any better um so, so i'm just trying to get comfortable so I decided that Weight Watchers is what worked for me and just this whole like COVID-19 and us being quarantined like of course the first week and a half to two weeks all I did was like I was binging on snacks and eating unhealthy and when I would do my grocery shopping like I would buy large quantities of junk and unhealthy kind of meals and you know it was almost like a party being able to stay home and be in the comfort of your home and then it was you know not getting up and being active and I wasn't dating and I'm still not dating um so I think just a lot of factors you know just amplified and made me gain even a little bit more weight um and I just had enough and I just didn't like the way I was feeling I'm tired all the time I feel like my legs get numb and my arms were getting numb when I was sleeping or waking up from sleeping and just I think my body was all out of sorts I was getting eczema a lot um so I just figured like, okay, th this has to stop. We know Weight Watchers works. Yes, I have to pay for it, but then I'll be accountable because I'm paying for it. It's gonna make me want to do it. So I joined um, just the online version, not the meetings, because obviously the meetings are not happening right now, first of all, and second of all, there is none in my town. There's not even one about the closest one I think is 40 45 minutes away and it's not offered on my day off that last time I checked but it doesn't matter I'm just following the app and I joined a couple of groups on there so trying to like communicate talk to people and make daily posts on there which reminds me I need to log in my activity my I log my steps in there every day for activity points I just do it to keep track I don't end up eating those points if anyone knows about Weight Watchers um but so I joined the Friday night at like 11.45 p.m. <laughs> it was the weekend of Memorial, Memorial Day weekend, that weekend, la la la. Um, so I joined that Friday night. So all of that Saturday, all of that Sunday, I was very careful with what I ate. I stayed within my points. My mother bought cupcakes. I ate half of a cupcake because I knew, okay, I'm scanning everything with the app. I'm like, okay, you know, let's just say it was like 10 points or 11 points for the cupcake. Okay, if I have half, I'll stay within my points and I won't go over. Um, so that's really been helpful to me. Um, 
and I went from so Friday I already knew like that week I had weighed myself one day it was a 216.6 I set my weighing days for Monday so that way kind of like when it is the weekend I know okay don't get crazy because you got to get weighed in on Monday so I figured it'd be good for me um, so that Monday I weighed myself and I was 213 um, so that was that Monday I think that was the May 25th 26 something I don't really remember the dates I'm sorry but I just weighed myself this past Monday being June 1st and it's 211.6 I'm being very transparent with you guys it is very scary to throw out your weight and your number um I mean I know it's just a number this and that but if you were to go and do my BMI it's it's scary so I know I need to change and that's what I've been doing I've been sticking with it I've been enjoying it I've been using like Okay, so on Weight Watchers, there's like three different programs, like different colors that you follow, and I got entered into the blue. Um, I'll make a whole different video on Weight Watchers if you want me to with my experience as time goes on, but um, there's just like a lot of zero point foods, and I've been sticking to those and making those the base of my meals and building from that, so that way... Um, I'm not going over and I'm not getting too crazy and I don't use like all my weekly points like I use some of them and whatever um, but so far so good my cat's behind me I don't know what's going on it's like a zoo in this room <laughs> but so far I'm doing good I'm feeling really positive I'm feeling a little bit more energized um, and like today for the first time I felt lighter in my body so that was a really nice feeling I'm just going to, my birthday is June 26th, and today is June 4th, so I have 22 days till my birthday. I was trying to do a 30-day challenge, which I'm going to be honest, I failed it already, where I did 30 minutes of exercise for 30 days straight. I did six days in a row, and then I stopped because it was hard. It's not easy, so... I don't know I'm just gonna stick to the food and eating properly and eating my portion meals staying with my points and you know every Monday is kind of exciting now because I do have that way in to look forward to to see okay how much more can we lose this week you know I have a long way to go a long way to go um when I was 174 when I weighed that amount I felt so much better I still would have more weight to lose in order to be considered at a healthy BMI. I think I have to be like 145. I have no idea what I would even look at at like 165, 160. Like it's it's going to be interesting. Um, but I'm just doing my best and seeing what I can do. Another life update that I would like to share with you guys is something that I started to try to talk to a little but um, <sighs> I can't even say things um but I will tell you this I've done something crazy <laughs> um crazy just because the world is crazy right now um I decided with this whole COVID-19 thing and just I don't know it's kind of just changed my view on certain things and you know like when you just work all the time and you put money off to the side and like you don't really like, I don't really have this goal, per se. Um, and I started just having this vision of maybe a different life and this and that. And I just decided that I'm going to allow myself to take a trip. And um, I went ahead and I actually purchased a plane ticket. Um, I won't tell you where I'm going just yet. <laughs> um, it's exciting to me, but... It would probably just be like normal to anyone else, but I am going away in the fall. Hopefully by then everything should be lifted, fingers crossed. We are on the mend in my town where restaurants are beginning to open outside and things like that. But I'm actually going to be going to an area where things are pretty much all lifted. Um, well, I'm going to two different places within the same state. But um, the first part that I'm going to, things are pretty much all lifted I've been told that people go to the store without a mask on and things are open there so I don't know we'll see um the other side of, that I'm going to is not quite there yet they're slowly like reopening but 
we'll see how it goes. Um, I think it'll just be good for my mental health and my peace of mind to just kind of go experience another place for a little bit and just get out of my funk here because I've definitely been in one and some people are like you're crazy you're gonna go by yourself and then some people are like oh my god that's awesome like sorry my mirror is you know like the it's like zoomed in like that side and just on the side of me it just kind of bugs me I don't know um and so I just I'm ready to just go and it's not even the fall <laughs> but I'm ready to go I um I'm just I'm looking forward so much to getting away I don't want the summer to go by fast like I want to enjoy my time and everything but I definitely have something to look forward to and it's another like um bonus for doing Weight Watchers is you know obviously I want to be going to the beach and enjoying the pool and I want to feel comfortable in my swimsuit and I'm not saying like I need to be bikini body nothing like that I'm just saying I need to be for myself I want to be comfortable I want to you know those kind of things so I guess that's a hint where I'm going somewhere <laughs> you can take your guesses in the comments down below um yeah, so I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell notification. Um, I'm still doing the contest. We are now at 1950, I think, subscribers, somewhere in that range. Um, so when we get another 50 more, you guys have a chance to win a prize. Don't forget, in the beginning of this video, I have three bags listed. So far, nobody's left me a comment. Like, people are leaving comments, but nobody's leaving comments in reference to which bag you're interested in. So if you guys don't leave a comment within the next couple of videos, I'm going to just select the bag that I like for the giveaway, and then hopefully we get some people interacting, because it's been a little quiet. I don't know what you guys are doing, you know? So you need to come back and hang out with me, and I will see you guys. I'll see you guys in a future video.